know you could say it's <laughs> random. <laughs> Thanks for picking this up, so. It's no problem. I just I wanted to see how it worked. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. All right, let's go to game one over here. Sonic and Pokemon Trainer. One, Top twenty-four. Go. Green lover twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah. Great tag. Wi-Fi Sonic is another beast. Oh, yeah. He's just pressing the B the button. button. I don't hate Sonic, like as a character. Excuse that you. That might just. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that force must have reach on that. You see oh, yeah. that? He, <laughs> that was crazy. Got, this man's. This man's be Mr. Fantastic. It's <laughs> made of rubber. It's like it's like he kept that one trait from Sonic and the Black Knight where he just had a sword for some reason. <laughs> but it's just also his hands. It's his hand, yeah. <laughs> Oh, going deep. Yeah, Sonic can really afford to to expand with his movement uh, because it's harder, much harder to react on Wi-Fi to a lot of his a lot of his mix-ups. So just raw speed in all forms is really powerful. Uh, hence why he's really abusing that. Ooh, that force oh, that air dodge was awful. Oh, okay, good recovery. That was actually pretty far. Like, oh, he died to that throw. Okay, that amazing. Oh. I want to say that like he might have been holding out for a potential, uh, a potential forward smash, but or, or potential like dash attack or something. But the grab mixed him up. Sonic was doing a good job of stock one until that happened. Now he's gonna play catch up against his Charizard here. Yeah, Sonic with a weed drops it here, with without a weird. Sonic at a deficit drops it here. Really amazing how things can change with the character. Ooh, good, good, good throw tech right there. He's got to be really careful with these air dodges, though. The chase like is that. super nice, but he's been air dodging to stage a lot, which is uh, potentially very dangerous with the hard punishes that he's been receiving. So, <laughs> got yeah, I, I feel bad for Squirtle in this exchange versus Sonic, because like Sonic got away with like two side B's on the shield and just like just jumped around, and Squirtle really couldn't do much there. I guess that's like a weakness of the character. If he has to fight a character that's like in the air like that. It's hard to punish. I'm sure it's a different story because he has like the rising sun up air. And uh, bullet seed, but like, damn. Homing attack is such a... Being such a good tool after the combos, because if you hold shield for longer, you can just keep charging the homing attack. The manual release uh, lets it be so much more uh, variable. And that's death. Oh, that sucks. You just messed up your your recovery there. Yeah, he also, aired out the Mr. H. Yeah, also messed up the a punish off the soft hit off a side B. Because he didn't know the side B, thinking like he's gonna get a combo or something. But Sonic just went the other way and then just off his own stuff. He's playing a lot. He's doing a lot better when he sticks to his bread and butters. Uh, once he starts to try and like snipe Ivysaur and play air to air, great catch with the jump, by the way. Uh, and once he starts trying to play air to air, he's losing a lot of these trades, uh, which Ivysaur, Ivysaur can generally win a lot of trades. He likes to have a ton of damage and can always switch to Charizard, who is super heavy. Yeah. I'm liking the way uh, Zach is, uses the side beats here. The option selects to like to homing attack after doing it, like every time, and it, like whether if it hits or not, you still get away from it if he blocks it. So he's not really getting punched for it. Like he'll just straight up charge it and just do it right away. Yeah, Ooh, so that from? I see what you mean with those rage eggs, because he can almost freely do them. And as long as they cur go straight or curve down, then it'll stop the it'll stop the spin dash in its track. Switching the Charizard just to survive a little more. I gotta watch out for the forward smash at the very least. Don't Ooh, throw. Flame, gonna up you again. Oh, oh that nice. was almost a stock right there. Good uh, recovery from Zach. I would have bet the farm he was looking for back area there. That definitely makes me up. Oh, that double Jedi reset was almost sick. Right, oh, that charge. Yeah, Sonic can do this all day. Oh my so god, there's a shield! You gotta... Oh, that was a very big hit. Yeah, way too much. And it costed your stock. Damn, I didn't expect that forward tilt to kill, but that's also a very strong move of Sonic's. That was a nice bait. <laughs> it really was. Yeah. So, 
he was being okay so for lack of a better phrase he was being such a nuisance and diminishing his shield damage diminishing his shield health so much with just these power like speeding uh these speeding spin dashes that charizard really couldn't do anything about since his outer shield options mostly hit high and sonic is ducking under him and past him so what are you gonna do about that but take a huge gamble flare blitz maybe not that huge a gamble it was still okay you could have gone to platform and done easily enough <laughs> easily yeah. enough to avoid but was, you know <laughs> yeah that was definitely a, a bullfight moment Charizard yeah. saw red and just like jumped right in and just got his horn <laughs> stuck in the wall <laughs> so like, oh my god he's charging it's time to kill Olay. him <laughs> just olayed his ass forward tilt goodbye Let's see if they're switching to game number two. I don't think this is going to be a character switch. But maybe a stage. Maybe a stage. Something like Kalos, maybe. I wouldn't Something. take Sonic to Kalos. <laughs> or maybe something bad. smaller, like Yoshi's. Yoshi's would probably be a bit. I could see a Smashville here. Uh, I could see a Battlefield. Something that gives a lot more platforms, a lot more reason for... Uh, if Sonic's trying to play evasive, he then naturally goes high with the platforms, and uh, if he's going high, that lets uh, PT like counter him with the uh, PT strong aerial. Oh, well, character then... switch. Oh. oh yeah. Wolf. This also works. All right. Well, Three, Wolf, Wolf is like two. Like if, this, if this character was top tier in the Smash 4 days, I think Wolf is like the ultimate, uh, no you ain't, <laughs> uh, counterpick character for that. So this is a good choice for Rin Lover. Yeah, Wolf can be a reality check for a lot of characters and a lot of players. He does, he serves that role that Smash 4 Cloud did in a lot of ways, where he just kind of keeps a lot of uh, mid-tiers in check, because he just has good buttons. Like, Palutena does this too. People talk about the blaster being the old reliable, but it's also the good air speed and the good frame data on his aerials too. At that back air, there's a, a monster, the Nair. Yeah, and Generally stated. Huge super act. I believe it's... You know what? Why am I even... I was gonna say something, but it's like, I don't know if I'm correct, but I have an internet. <laughs> Get that frame data app like open another tab right there. You know it. Oh, ooh, good up smash scoop right there for the wolf. Yeah. I think if there's one character that could take advantage of just waiting for Sonic to come to him, it's like it's definitely Wolf. Oh yeah. It's the same kind of theory with uh, Ivysaur's uh, Razor Leaf, but Wolf Blaster instead uh, does more and is transcendent. So there's not really much Sonic can do about it to counter button. Wow, what a use of side B to recover. Like high, that was pretty nice. Wolf of Rage is going to be doing a lot of damage here. And he seemed to learn from his mistake from last game where he got overzealous and lost because of it. Now he's playing a lot more passive and not trying to do too much, but good good edge guard there going deep with that drop zone fair. Not letting Wolf get back to the ledge because you really want to punish his recovery as it's starting, not as it's ending. Because you don't want to get caught by Wolf Flash and die or get caught by... Uh, fire wolf and die. Okay. It's all about positioning when trying to beat out wolf's recovery. You gotta for be sure. like knowledgeable and ready to go for it when he's they start scoring low like that. Ooh, nice follow up with the spin dash. He's homing attacks, but homing attack has such a crazy range. Yeah, it's super fast too. Like, it's made it faster. Tracks better too. Like, if Smash 4 Sonic was like spin dash the character, I feel like homing attack is that same move now. Like it's just so strong. Like even though like Sonic's side B now is a uh, commitment because you can't cancel into shield anymore, it's still pretty good to just, just to do like here and just go like on the opposite side of the opponent. Position yourself better. Yeah, it's and, and a combo off of two. That reach what? Oh well. This wolf counter pick is very good right now for, for Ren the Lover. Yeah, he's not trying to like do too much or worry about uh, like missing a lot of confirms. Wolf just has a naturally strong damage output and a strong anti-air game. 
Um, so he's he's not letting him he's not letting him just cross him up for free or get free uh, conversions or free uh, anything really. Wolf's back at Wolf not back. Wolf's neutral is frame seven. I was going to say that, so pat myself on the back. Frame seven there just comes at you full speed. It lingers forever. What is that? Wow. What an option. And the back air to take it, the tip back air. Absolutely gone. Explode. Like, please die. You're good, but I am better. Boom, 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 boom. That move is lethal on the ledge. Like, god damn, you died at 70? You see those boots? <laughs> they're not they're not just breaking your ribs, they're slashing them open. It's raw metal just hitting you in the freaking mouth, like <laughs> Space Pilots mean business, man. Alright, going to game three over here. Yeah, I would be surprised if we see a stage counter pick. Oh, but maybe we will. Greetings. Good fight. So close. Don't Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> These little voice chat lines are pretty great. Goodbye. Oops, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I answer your Wi Fi with my Wi Fi. Let's go pick oh, Samus. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. I changed my mind. I want Dark Samus. You know, maybe. <laughs> nah, still going Samus. This is crazy. Holy. Samus. Oh, man. This is a completely different matchup from when we started. No, like, this is the type of matchup that's, like, completely different on how they are offline compared to online. Three, oh, yeah. Two. Like for like one one uh, character's game plan would work better in idle or setting type of situation. Like Wolf will just jump in offline and be like, "All right, I'm going in." But he, it's kind of harder to like do that online. Whereas Samus is like, "All right, I'm gonna shoot you and I'm gonna go to the opposite side." He's just screw attacking. <laughs> yeah, it's really anti him with a nice good combo of the down throw. I mean, it works in it works in uh, Metroid because you just jump around and screw attack everywhere. And, like nothing can touch you. <laughs> Not so much an ultimate. As the classic, jump off the ledge and fair. It's you always do it the first time, see if it works, and then you start mixing up. Oh, this could be dangerous. The wolf's doing a good job though, like playing his game still, going right above the sandwich just to. Uh... Avoid getting clipped. Yeah, the difference between Samus and Sonic though is that Samus is a lot more just natural anti-air. So like, I really want to see him like, challenge a little bit more. In the oh, air. no punish on the throw! He wants to get space so bad. That's why you see him. he's just dashing back. Not that bad. Okay. Okay. Not gonna kill from that up B, but scoops right up right there with the up smash. Got a neutralizer coming through. He's again. He's cornered himself like uh, very frequently, which a lot of Samus has a lot of mix-ups off of ledge, uh, with having a super long zare and uh, jump from ledge fair and that kind of stuff. But against Wolf, putting yourself in the corner is just asking to be like, go from zero to fifty. Uh, this this uh, this layout is much more favorable to. Him. Both doing a good job of keeping in his space right here. Oh wow, he's doing it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Three. Uh, oh four, my god. Five. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Six. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven <times. laughs> oh my god. This is the most elite smash fucking Wi Fi I've seen all night. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I, welcome, I didn't. Welcome to the Grand Tour, my friend. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but this is real. This is real Elite Smash Sam, it's not gonna lie. Uh, is... Alright, alright, we were in the air dodge uh, this game. We're not, we're not actually, like, no fundies. No, no, that's, that's a mind game, though. Like, what are you gonna do, punish me? I was just, I was just doing it five billion times. That was... Ugh. That was like... That was somewhat <laughs> good from the Samus, because he was, like, testing the wolf's gangster, you know, just like... What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do this move seven times. <laughs> what are you doing about it? Yeah. I like your patience, Wolf. In real Wi-Fi hours. <laughs> it's like when you rotate your arms back and forth. It's like if I get, if you get hit by it, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and the Wolf's like, oh, I'm gonna just uh, stand here and kick and shoot, and if you get hit by this, it's your fault. <laughs> Ooh, got shot. 
challenging the jump of these spares. Not letting him get down, uh, get down the stage for free, but Wolf Nair lingering for a dozen and a half frames. Try to scoop with that L smash again. Oh no, uh, on, I respect it. I respect it. Yeah, I do. I do. Too. Oh, the LVs are back in the play. <laughs> oh boy. Man. Dash attack. Uh, and the dash attack, just right in there. When you when you think I'm gonna keep zoning, no, I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mind games, because uh, it, it was really looking like uh, I'm awful. It's really looking like he's frustrated right now. Uh, you're down a slug like that, and it's like, yeah, not seeing any reflex from the uh, charge missile too. Is just yeah, letting it's like a, a same thing. I was like, why don't you just pull out the reflector and just keep it up until you punch it? Uh, there you go. Scoop of Mouse Smash, taking the second stock. The only reason I can think of is he's oh. probably desperate. I wouldn't I wouldn't try and put too much pressure, uh, too much mind, mindfulness on it, but when you see a Samus so, just so content to shoot many char shots and missiles and your counterplay is just sitting still and putting up shield, putting up reflector, Time ticks down quick. True that, true that. There's still two minutes, so it this won't go to time, but like if Zach's really decided oh, the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play to time. Like... Down throw, no follow-up. One good aerial from the Samus tier could could be death for the wolf. Yeah, Samus has a lot of raw power. Just in her kit. He's doing a great job of mixing up when he's shooting his charge shots, trying to find conversions off of them at the lower at the lower powers, but getting more more and more threatening with these high power shots. Yeah, the wolf's gotta be not afraid to use blaster here too, because so I did see it at one point like interrupt the samus before the blast the charge shot came out. Oh, and it took it to the face. Yeah, he landed and pulled out gun, got caught during the during the frame. That was really oh, hard to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Yeah, we, we got a replay on those seven up Bs because that that was that was like that was crazy. <laughs> Only if, if it resulted in a kill. <laughs> all right, all right. Apparently that was fantastic. All right, okay, I'm gonna hop off of commentary for I think the Ram Guard to take over. So okay. Okay. Right, see you later, Munoz. We love you. Much love, House. Adieu. Keep it 3,000. <laughs> Keep it 3,000. Keep it 3,000. <laughs> Love you, Munoz. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, that's a good one.